Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I wanted to talk about a process of taking a isometric map, creating it inside of Tiled, and importing it into Unity using Tiled to Unity. So the end result will look something like this. So as you can see, the different tiles are separated into separate game objects, though it's not done as an individual tile by tile. If I move the transform here for one of these pieces, you can see that like tiles are grouped together. I believe that's for performance reasons, but the tile palette and tile mapping inside of Unity doesn't have support for isometric games yet. So this method may suit you a little better. So in this tool called Tiled for building game maps, it's not engine specific. Let's start by quickly showing how to create a tile set and then to create a tile map. So if you go up to the file menu and hit new and then new tile set, you'll be able to group a bunch of your images together in one collection. Uh, you can either do based on tile set image if you have one sprite sheet file. So that would be where all of your tiles are combined on one single image, or you can do collection of images if they're separate PNG files. So over here, I have the Kinney isometric tower defense assets, and you can see that they're all basically separated into their own individual PNG images. So that being the case, I'm gonna do collection of images. So that being the case, I'm gonna do collection of images, but I'm also going to embed this in a new map. So if you embed it in the map, rather than saving it to a file, it gets saved in the game map itself. And I don't really need to resave the tile set, so we'll create a new map here. Now for orientation, you're gonna want isometric. Map size, I found inside of Unity that it works a little better when you have actual width and height set rather than letting it go infinite, uh, just so that the initial positioning of the map is correct. And tile size, so this is gonna depend on what your art assets are. Uh, you can see here that the tile information that was provided says that the tiles are 120 pixels by 98 pixels. But I was actually finding that when you put it together inside of Tiled, that the tile width and tile height for this particular pack of sprites um, seems to work better at 118 and 68 pixels uh, high. Otherwise, what would happen? Well, I'll, I can actually just show you what would happen. We'll do 120 pixels and 98 pixels by default. Uh, once again, that completely depends on what kind of art assets you're using. Just call this map tutorial. So now if I take this over the existing tile set and I start drawing with it, what you'll notice is that the elevation is not correct. There's a giant step between each square and that's not what we actually want here, or at least that's not what I want. So instead I'm gonna go to map and then map properties and I'm going to change it to the numbers I had before, which is 118 and then 68 and I'll save the map. Now I'm going to go up to so just to show creating a new tile set really quickly, I'll go to File, New, New Tile Set. I'll call it Tutorial. Hit Save As. Save again. And now we can just drag the PNG images that we want to use as our tiles into here. Orientation, you can set to isometric. That doesn't actually affect how things are going to look on the, on the tile map itself. But if we do something like create terrains, it'll change the perspective on how it's drawing the areas around the sprite. So the main reason drawing isometric would actually matter though is that when you're drawing using the tile collision editor, if you need to add in tile collisions, it's going to be drawing the squares in an isometric fashion, kind of matching your actual tiles. Um, so yeah, keep that in mind, probably just set it to isometric. So anyway, now that we have these tiles imported, we can see them on this new tab and we can draw with them. So I'm gonna just draw some random stuff for the tile map. Now, of course, uh, the reason this in-between area doesn't match up with the ramp is because those ramps are going up to a third floor, but these are only the second floor tiles. Um, so yeah, keep in mind elevation if you have that kind of thing going on in your tile set. So because we're just trying to test import this, I'm going to just save it, and I'm gonna export it using Tile to Unity now. So. So when you install Tiled to Unity, you can launch it manually by finding its program location on your computer. Um, but you can also add in this command to Tiled so that you can launch it using a hotkey inside of Tiled. So I could copy that in here, go to commands, edit commands, and create a new command with that executable that it showed in Tiled to Unity. So you just copy it in here and give it a shortcut. And so by doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and hit F5 because that's the shortcut I set. 
So as you can see here, specifying an XML file is optional. I'm actually just going to delete that and I'm going to export the file itself. So you have to target the tile to Unity, which is inside of your Unity assets folder. And if you haven't loaded tile to Unity into your project yet, you would do so by finding it on your computer. So that would be program files tiled to unity and then you double click the unity package file and then that will load all of the necessary assets into unity for you and now we can just go ahead and export as long as you're targeting tiled to unity inside of your game project so big ass export and it should go ahead and load in here so it's going to pop under tiled to unity and then uh, prefabs i believe yeah Okay, so in order to get the tile map to actually import there, I needed to restart tile. But I think what I just needed to do was save the tile set. So save your tile sets and your tile map before you do the Unity export. But from there, just have the tile map selected, open up tile to Unity, and then go ahead and export that. Okay, so zero errors, and it should reload right in here. And now we can go ahead and drag the tile map onto the screen. Uh, your position for the transform, you probably want that set to zero, 0, And if I get this one out of the way for a minute, we can see that the tile has been loaded in properly. We can see that the tile map's been loaded in properly. So that's the basics of how you would make an isometric map inside of Tiled and import it into the Unity game engine. So I've been Chris. I hope this tutorial helped some of you guys out there, and I will see you guys in my future video content.